Okay, first things first. There's a difference between a left-handed fan and a right-handed fan. This is a left-handed fan, so the top stave is looking to the left. Same story with the right-handed fan. The fan stacked on the top is going to the right. So that's how you know which one is a right-handed fan or a left-handed fan. I like to hold mine just like a hand. Some people like to hold theirs the opposite way. Both are correct. So I'm going to show you with one naked hand and one hand with the fan. To do the open, I'm going to keep my thumb inside so you can see where I'm going. Open and close. Open and close. Open and close. Now, when we open and we want to bring it in, we're going to bring those four fingers closest to the body. Open, flip it around, bringing the four fingers closest to the body. Okay? Now that we have them here, depending on the size of your fans, you might want them at the hips. These are pretty big fans, so I need them here by my hip. If they're smaller, they can be up higher. So now we're going to open up the fans and close them. Open and close. Very nice. Now we're going to roll them out. And now we have thumbs toward the audience. Keeping your thumb toward the audience, we're going to roll it back. Butterfly. Roll it out. Swoop it across. Big hug. And open, close. Open, close. So fan dancing doesn't have to be super complicated. I find ways of simplifying it by crossing in the same place on my arm. Right here above the wrist, I find to be really versatile. That way, I can flip my fans whichever way I want to. So if I have a skirt, awesome. If I'd like to keep my arms connected to turn it into a showgirl headpiece, I have my showgirl headpiece. Then I can always bring it back down to do some butterflying. Or if I'm ready for a skirt, here's my skirt. I can also roll it out to make my showgirl headdress. So, connecting at the wrist is very versatile. And you don't have to remember where things are because if you keep connecting in the same place, you will maintain a consistency without looking in the mirror. When you're connected at the wrist, it's also really easy to bring that hug a little bit closer to create some butterflying. So even though here is my standard switch point, I can just tighten it up a little to make wings. <laughs>